in the books of explanation of Quran, there's a narration from Qatada rahimahullah. He says, ذُكِرَ لَنَا أَنَّ Isa عَلَيْهِ salam رَأَتْهُ imra'atun." That it's been mentioned to us that Isa alayhi salam, a woman saw him, yuhi al-mawta wa yubri'u al-akmaha wal-abrasa fi sa'iri ayatihi. She saw him performing the many, many miracles that Isa alayhi salam was given, such as reviving the dead, or curing people who were born blind, or curing people who were lepers. She saw him performing these miracles. فَقَالَتْ She said, طُوبَى لِلْبَطْنِ أَلَّذِي حَمَلَكَ وَالثَّدِي أَلَّذِي أَرْضَعَكَ She said that, you know, how blessed, how blessed is the womb that carried you? And how blessed is the chest that fed you? So she says, how blessed is the woman that carried you and that nursed you? فَقَالَ لَهَا عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ very beautiful perspective here. Isa alayhi salam said to her, Tuba liman tala kitab Allahi ta'ala wa taba'a ma fihi wa amila bihi. He says, don't get caught up in glorifying, you see me performing miracles, don't get caught up in glorifying me and my mother and the people involved here. He says, how, the, how fortunate, how blessed are the people is the one who recites the book of Allah and then he follows the guidance that is in it and he acts upon it. She's saying, how fortunate, how amazing, how blessed are you and the woman that gave birth to you and the woman that nursed you. She's glorifying the people. Isa alayhi salam adjusts the pers her perspective. He says, no, 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 what you need to think about is how blessed is the one who recites the book of Allah, the message that I've come with. Don't obsess over me, obsess over the message that I've come with. And then follows the advice that is therein and acts on the guidance that is provided within that book. That's the perspective you need to have.